Hello, and welcome to That's The Point. This is the place where we chat about the concepts and ideas surrounding precision construction technology. My name is Corey Meyer, here with my partner in crime, Jonathan Stickle. What is up, man? Glad to be here. All right, so today we're doing it. We're talking about a hot one. So this is one of the most common inquiries and, and issues that we see on the support desk, and that is this simple idea of antennas. Such a riveting topic. Honestly, antennas are kind of an exciting topic. Mm -hmm. Because bang for your buck wise, this is one of the easiest fixes that you're ever gonna have in construction positioning. Yeah. Um, and it's really designed that way. So all these antennas that we have here, whether it's the RI, whether it's GNSS, T100 RTS, all of these antennas um, are each less than a hundred bucks and mm -hmm. some drastically less than a hundred dollars. Let's talk about antennas for a second. So uh, lots of industrial grade job site ready stuff, including the Trimble Gear has external antennas. And I guess the first question is, why is that? Um, it gives you the best signal. Also, it's rugged. They're able to take some contact and you know still connect. They are. The these these antennas like are sacrificial. And so I think the biggest thing that we want to point out is that they are designed to fail. Like we would mm -hmm. much rather this this inexpensive antenna take take the brunt of the damage rather than a housing or the back of your tablet, right? There's a lot of reasons in engineering that goes into that. So it is designed to take a beating and, and to take the abuse, hopefully so that other areas of your, of your equipment do not. So that's the first thing. I think that the next idea is like, what situation would cause us to want to replace the antenna, right? Anytime you're experiencing connectivity issues, that's like the number one reason you're gonna to wanna to replace the antenna. And we normally see that with range, right? Mm -hmm. Like you, you, when you took it out of the box, the first time you used your total station, you're like, oh my gosh, I get so far between my tablet and my total station. Now that range is getting less and less. That kind of says to us that you yep. might have an antenna issue. Most likely you do. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is we see a lot of times that maybe these weird issues you might be having with FieldLink. So FieldLink crashing, it doesn't necessarily say it has a connectivity issue, but if that antenna becomes damaged, that data link between the total station and the tablet. Um, it's compromised. It's compromised, yeah. and so it does cause issues. And so we can commonly see that that is an issue that can be fixed by replacing the antenna. Um, the other thing is, is that the knuckle becomes displaced. So a lot of these have these, these knuckles in here, so we see that there's a knuckle there that you can angle the antenna. If those two things become separated, when you put it back together, a lot of times what you see is actually what this live gun sees here. We just came, this came in off for service. Mm -hmm. And we can see right here that it just never- kind of like bending. Yeah, it never goes back straight up. So we wanna make sure that that is, we know right now that that antenna is suspect. Um, and so by simply replacing these, we're saving a lot of headaches. Mm -hmm. And if you're ever wondering which antenna you need for your Trimble gear, we've got you covered there. Just click down below and we have a list with pictures and everything so you know which um, antenna you need for your device. Right, we got, yeah, it's completely laid out. So whatever system you're using, you'll make sure you get the right antenna. And even now, just on this video, Did like- we just repair something live I on I just repaired an RTS live. That is the first time that's ever happened, that, I'm that's sure. That's impressive. So yep, so brand new antenna replaced. It's e as easy to do that in the field. Just put your spare one on that you might have in your case. Um, and if you don't have a spare, it might be a good idea to pick one up. Mm -hmm. And we've just fixed the connectivity problem right here, right here on live. So. That's great. So we've now covered antennas. It's the number one topic at the desk. Uh, the support guys are going to be thrilled that we talked about this. Jonathan, man, thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. And of course, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you're notified of the latest tips, tricks, and pointers that we post here at That's The Point. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.